Welcome Aquarius Pisces to your November 12th through the 16th reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. S message. coming out is a waiting result. It's almost like we have the tree of life over here growing, <laughs> just waiting for the answer. Um, getting back to the root. It feels like it's getting back to the root of the matter. I don't know what's going on over here, but I keep hearing, let's get to the heart of the matter. Let's get to the root of the matter. We need to figure out what's going on over here. Having some darkest fears coming out. There's something that is actually, yeah, when it comes to yeah, the base chakra, there's that root of the matter. Um, not really having the understanding of what the hell is going on. I'm sorry, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> it's exactly what I'm feeling. I don't know what the hell is going on over here, but I'm not really liking. Really wanting to seek the truth within the situation. Really pulling back the veil. Um, not feeling like the relationship is balanced at all. And it does feel like it's a relationship. Dreams coming true. Dedicated effort. I don't even want to really put any more effort into the situation until I can get down to the heart of the matter. Um, so it does feel like there is something kind of hidden. Something that is kind of controlling the situation. Who is controlling the situation? Feels like they're the ones that want to control the situation at hand. Um, and it does feel like there is some kind of trust issue going on within this situation. Whether or not you can trust this relationship right now. Um, and that's really what it is. Um, and I'm keeping these kind of down here because it feels like this down here is really your person. You want to be in control, but I don't know if I really want to trust the situation at hand. Um, and it feels like because for some of you, you've already had a relationship like this before and it's not something you really want to deal with again. Um, so let's get over here and see what, what in the world is going on uh, when it comes to this. Not really making me very happy when your dreams are not coming true over here and not wanting to put any more effort into this until you feel that the truth be told. Um, so the darkest fears is just kind of giving you anxiety and worry. It doesn't feel like it's anything else. It just feels a little worrisome. A little worrisome because it does feel like, yeah, there it is, worry and confused. A little bit of confusion and a little bit of worriedness about what this person is doing. Awaiting the results. The only reason you're awaiting results is because you're trying to figure out what is going on within the next couple of days with the two of wands. Having to make decisions about the situation. Is this something that I really, really want? Because, you know, my vitality is a little bit down right now because I'm not really sure this is exactly what I want. Um, I've already had that. I don't really want it again. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I had this love before. I, this is not what love is for me. Seeking the truth and really pulling back the veil gives you a higher understanding of what the truth really truly is. Have you been kind of wearing rose-colored glasses this whole time and now are kind of seeking the truth and having an understanding? Sometimes, you know, maybe you were blinded by love. There's, there's that one too. Sometimes we're blinded by love. We don't see that maybe this person's been this way the whole time. Um... Right? That's for someone. Otherwise, what you're trying to figure out is what's behind the what's behind the curtain. Right? They're not traveling towards you the way that you want them to travel towards you. And so you're trying to understand what it is that's really going on. And it does feel like you are kind of planting new different seeds to kind of watch. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like you might be throwing little things out to see what how they're responding to the situation. That way, too, it also allows you to open up the veil. If I throw this at you, how do you respond? Um, you know, every action has a response. So sometimes, you know, that's a, in, it's actually kind of a genius way of looking at something and getting the answer that you, you know, that you're looking for. Um, it could just be little hints here and there and really watching little hints. If I throw this at you, what do you give me back, right? Um, and with the seven of coins over here, you know, and it does feel, guys, like this could be a give and take scenario. I keep giving to you and you're not giving back to me. 
Um, but if I throw this at you, how are you going to react? What's the response? Um, and that's really what you're kind of doing right now. Is, but it's kind of uh, incognito. <laughs> right? Um, why? Because it's not something that you want them to really pick up because it's only for you, right? To get the answers that you are seeking. Um, so with the balance over here is definitely saying the ace of coins. There is a lot of broken promises to this situation. Maybe it was, you said you were going to do this and I threw this at you and then you broke that promise. And it just remember guys, it's when it comes to love, it's always the little things in life, you know? Kind of like if we're going on an airplane and I've sat at the window my whole time and my husband has not sat at the window ever because he's never been on a plane, I'm going to give him the window seat so he can look out the window. That's a true story though. I actually did do that. Okay. Why? Because I love him and I think that it would be amazing. Like he should totally have to have that experience. But this person seems like they're not getting the little things. A lot of times the little things are the things in life that will, you know, matter the most. And they're not doing that. So then you could get off that airplane and be like, wow, I didn't even get to look out the window except for like over you. You know, because then maybe they would say, oh, but I always sit at the window. Well, I've never been at the window. Oh, well, that's too bad for you, right? Okay, that's not love, okay? <laughs> Plan and simple. These are the little things in life. And a lot of times, you know, you can even say, it's just the little things. Maybe I'm overreacting. No, because it always starts with the little things before it gets to the big things. Okay, so where your dreams are coming true, they just keep breaking the promise. They're not realizing it. They're, look, whether or not they realize what they're doing or not, it, it could just be a, a really selfish behavior that they're just so used to doing. Um, I really think that the reason they're not realizing it is because they do just think it's just little things and you're overreacting. But I disagree because when it comes to the little things, that's how you know whether or not you want to do big things with people. Why would I want to give you big things if you can't do the little things? There is no, I'm sorry. So it's almost like you're going to come to them. You're going to explain what they're doing to, you know, what they're doing. And the sorry may either, it's not full hearted because they don't really have the rec, you know, they don't recognize the little things. They don't recognize that at all. They don't think it's, it matters. No, they don't think it matters. Or they're just not going to say sorry at all. Right. Queen of Coins could be dealing with an Earth sign, could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Or an Aries. I got Aries three times. A lot of selfish behavior that just makes you feel very uncomfortable. And I do think for some of you, it feels like an old relationship as well. One that you've already been in. But the control factor is, is that you see them as more wanting to be in control. They want to wear the pants. They want to be the big guy on campus. However it is, whether they're female, male, I don't care. They want to be the control. And they see it as them being in control. And they want to be in control. And this is a very trusting, a very trusting, uh, trust issue for you. Um, I'm saying it's no give and take, guys. That's yeah, you see them this way as the Page of Swords. It's going to cause you know, and they fight for their, they fight for this, they argue for this, they you know, they want this control, and you're noticing this control more and more every day. 
um, during this week. It might even be in something that had already happened around the 11th or the 10th, the 9th, just sometime within the week, right? And it just seems to get, be getting worse is what, what it's really kind of looking like. Um, and you're not finding any justice or any balance within the situation. It almost feels like, you know, I'm not going to self-sacrifice anything right now because it already feels like I, I kind of already put myself out there to self-sacrifice for this situation. And now I just feel like I'm kind of being walked on. So it, there definitely is a trust issue here. And with the Four of Cups, it just doesn't feel like you're really getting the cup that you want. It's kind of like the cup is up in the air. Um, like I said, guys, whether I, I think this person has been like this the whole time. I just think that there could have been kind of your blinders on a little bit to notice the situation and something just, you know, a little bit bigger than normal happened that really caught your attention. I Either that or throughout the love, they've hidden this back and now they feel more comfortable. There's always that as well. Um, they feel more comfortable, so they're going to become more controlling or they just decided to become com comfortable and become themselves. <laughs> How about that? Right? Um, which would still be the facade kind of hiding their true their true self from you um kind of would kind of be like kind of wearing a mask situation um <clears throat> yeah but definitely this is a behavior that you haven't seen in the past and i believe through other relationships um whether it's with friends you know this could even be a friend you know maybe your friend is too controlling your love is too controlling somebody is too controlling um and they're making you feel bad and I definitely do feel that this is, you know, no give and take. So there is kind of a delay and you may stop kind of coming towards them because it does feel like there is delayed effort to want to do anything about this at this time until either they kind of wake up, smell the coffee, um, you know, and figure it out or until they actually listen to you. Right now, they're not even listening to you. They think you're being over emotional. King of Cups upside down because the Queen of Coins is saying, no, I'm fine. It's you who's over emotional. And it's like, okay. Wow, geez, I can't have give and take in a relationship and I can't, you know, unless I'm over emotional. Wow, but that's the control piece to them. And this is where the bossiness kind of comes in. So there could be a little bit of a bossiness and having the signs that you have up here, they can be a little bossy. Capricorn, Taurus and Aries can be very bossy people. Um, so you could, you know, definitely be dealing with somebody who's a little more bossy, um, you know. I mean, you even have Gemini up here. He's a little bossy, usually kind of too. So, so yeah. Okay, guys. So good luck with that. But yeah, um, I would really watch that. Make sure that you are continuing to keep pushing that veil and kind of throwing those seeds, guys, because I really do like that kind of uh, breadcrumb effect where it says I'm pushing these seeds out to see what reaction you're getting. And that will always be the telltale sign, right? And it doesn't have to be anything big. It's just little things. Um, and that's what I do like about it because then it's showing you how they're reacting, right? I do like that, the action to the reaction because it's the only way you can do it without really actually, you know, coming at them, um, you know. I mean, this way you can actually really see it, you know, and then you'll say, I'm not over-emotional. I know what the hell I'm talking about. You're doing that, right? So you know for a fact now you're in the knowing. Um, and that's what I love about this card because you're really going to push the veil to say, maybe I'm overreacting like they say I am. Well, let's test the waters. Do it. Test the waters, guys, and see what see what's going on and then see how it really works, right? If Some of you are already doing it. Um, I'm just saying for those of you who haven't started yet, yeah. You know, I give you the heads up on that one and I give you the thumbs up. That will be the telltale sign. Okay. Till next time, my friends. Peace and love. Bye-bye.